Open source software tends to evolve pretty rapidly past outdated approaches. So how has database management technology changed in response to the fundamental architectural limitations of the old relational approach? Well, another buzzword you've no doubt heard is NoSQL, but that's a pretty vague term, so let's dig into it a bit. You see, relational systems, as we've seen, have a hardware problem. They need massive resources to join large tables, so they're challenged with cloud-scale applications and a bad fit for elastically scalable systems. They also have a data model problem. They use tables while software uses objects. Objects are multi-dimensional data structures, not flat rows, so tables are fundamentally mismatched with software that's focused on people, places, and things. And you can use object relational mapping to reduce some of the coding labor, but this approach can be fragile and expensive. As a result of all of this, open source database guru Johan Oskarsson gave a fateful conference talk some years ago, and both a hashtag and a buzzword were born. So as we'll see ahead, there's a lot of variety in so-called NoSQL approaches, but they share four common characteristics. They're cloud-focused, cluster-friendly, flexible, and fast. Four broad approaches have emerged. Key value, document, column family, and graph. Let's take a look at these. Key value systems are as straightforward as they sound. They emerged directly from application-tiered caching systems. They feature speed, scalability, and simplicity, because you can pull simple values very quickly from cache by their key. So the obvious next step beyond key value is to store structured values, better known as documents, as well as simple values. Document systems feature speed, scalability, and flexibility. They let you read and write evolving and unstructured data at cloud scale that maps easily directly to objects. Column family systems take a different approach. They store nested sets of data-typed tuples that are associated with a common key. Their highly linearized storage approach allows these systems to very quickly ingest massive volumes of data, which then eventually is consistently readable once you need to get that data back out again. The fourth new storage model is graph storage, which is comprised of linked lists of keyed objects. This approach focuses on relationships and works well for monitoring complex, dynamically networked connections. Of course, database management requires far more than just a storage engine, no matter how fast that engine may be. It needs a whole constellation of interrelated features and capabilities to render that fast, scalable storage truly useful. So an engaged database management system extends far beyond NoSQL to provide elastic architecture, in-memory storage, SQL-based querying to leverage the established skills and code bases you already have, seamless offline mobile synchronization, full-text search, integrated analytics, and a whole lot more. So what have we learned here? Well, relational systems are challenged by cloud-scale clustered architectures. And applications focus on people, places, and things, not rows. As a result, NoSQL databases have evolved and take four general approaches, key value, document, column family, and graph. But engagement requires a lot more than just storage and point solutions. You need integrated query, search, analytics, and seamless offline mobile data synchronization. Because if you haven't noticed that nearly every person on the planet has a slab in their hand as they wander in and out of Wi-Fi range, well, time to wake up. Couchbase covers you on all this. Stick around and learn more.